Hi, this is Ali Ackerman, and I'm here with Mike Correa, the Vice President of Information Solutions for Maple Leaf Foods, which is currently undertaking a major transformational effort enabled by a massive ERP implementation. Mike, can you share why a transformation was needed in the first place, and can you give a progress update? Sure, I can. So, Maple Leaf Foods is a, is a very large Canadian company. We've got uh, some fantastic brands in Canada. Um, and uh, as, as an organization, you know, we, we dominate market share in most of the categories we play in. Um, but we're in a global competition. And uh, you know, we compete in the US, we compete in Europe, we compete in Asia. Uh, so for us, one of our big disadvantages was cost structure. Um, and really in, in, in three ways. Uh, inflation, carrying uh, our raw material costs up enormously over the last number of years. Um, and, uh, and fuel costs, you know, the cost of corn, um, but, but frankly, even the, the exchange, right, and uh, the U.S. dollar and the Canadian dollar, uh, put us at a significant cost disadvantage against many of our global competitors. Uh, and for us, being a Canadian company, um, two things. We wanted to stay Canadian uh, and therefore need to compete and, and bring our costs in line and, and organize our organization. Uh, and, and the second piece was, uh, was to standardize processes across the organization to enable that. So really it was a moral imperative for us. It was uh, get better or die, quite frankly. Uh, in terms of the update, um, we're uh, in the second year of a four-year program. Uh, we are on time. Um, we are nearly on schedule but tracking very well and, and, and on budget. Uh, we have implemented uh, implementing uh, our ERP system with monthly go lives right now. Um, and we're about halfway through this program, but doing very well. As a follow-up question, how did you balance the business process changes with the technology implementation? So if there's a third element, though, that I'd, that I'd offer to everyone, um, we took a, a perspective on this program to really focus on process and, uh, and not on the technology or on the software. Um, from engaging business people in the process and making them leaders within our transformational team, folks who are not IT specific, um, but that had uh, solid business experience over many years, they became leaders within our transformation program. Um, and a focus within our organization to really build process first, uh, to understand that that was going to be your competitive advantage was that standardization um, and using best practice examples, um, not building something because it was there before, um, but reaching out globally to find out who was doing the best, right? what was the best practice, and adopting that within our program. Mike, what best practice tips are you going to offer attendees later today who may be attempting a similar transformation? Well, that's a great question, actually. Um, there are a number of things, uh, and I think they're, they're, they're kind of obvious, but we forget to do them. Um, biggest tip I can offer, actually, is, uh, is very solid governance around your program. Um, we've established uh, uh, very tight rules around how we operate within the program um, and very tight uh, objectives in terms of what we're trying to do. We're, uh, we're implementing in a very standard fashion, um, not doing a lot of modifications to the software, uh, very few after two and a half years, um, and, and, and designing and building this program to be sustainable over a long time. Right, so from a governance perspective, uh, it sounds kind of odd, but one of the key ones is actually set some dates as to when you're going to go live and hold those dates. Um, second thing I'd, advise, uh, I'd offer as advice is, uh, is gain the support of the most senior leadership in your organization. Um, our program is championed at the C-level. Our CEO is, is uh, deeply engaged. Um, he owns the program. Our chief financial officer is the champion of this program. Um, and then throughout our organization, uh, everyone knows through all the different business units and the presidents that uh, this is not an option. We are doing this um, and have completely aligned everything within the organization to achieve this from rewards and recognition to our hiring practices to, uh, to our process improvement uh, that is not part of the program. Uh, so two things that I'd really offer is, uh, is establish very strong governance um, and engage the most senior leadership in the organization.